Are you ready? Ready. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. How are you feeling, Pete? I am feeling jazzed, man. I'm ready for a little bit of open ocean, for sure. All right. Like I've been telling everybody, something's gonna happen. Right. Yeah, it's it's looking so calm. Uh, let's see. Got radio. It'll be. I'm gonna stop tracking y'all for a second. And then we'll I'll figure it out underway. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm in gear. Hey, hey Pete, could you run in here and do the horn, please? We'll, we'll get those in a sec. Alma, look for boats. Alma, look ahead, boats. You're saying that's not a thing in Washington? Nope. Visual, unless it's a thing. Yeah. Nobody does that. It's for sure a thing, at least for the bay. I think it's California. All right. We're underway. Is there a room down by the navigation? All right, so we are nearing, uh, nearing the mountain, we're probably like two miles, two, two nautical miles from the mouth uh, of the jetties. And it's just a nice, easy swell, so. Easy peasy. So far, so good. Only issue so far is that uh, we're not, so the computer, the nav computer is getting the AIS, it is showing the AIS uh, transceiver plugged in, but for some reason, OpenCPN is not receiving um, the signal. Uh, the signals from other vessels, but we are broadcasting. So hopefully if uh, we just restart everything that will fix it And yeah, the weather and everything is looking good All right, so we're just hanging out here. It's a nice easy swell I don't know if you can see on the screen, but there's some mountains in the background there So we can still see land in fact we can still see the mountains over Astoria no gloves, no hats, so it's definitely uh, warmed up a bit. Okay, we're cruising, what, we're cruising, what are we at, 2400 RPMs? 25. 25. 25. Yep. 6.3 knots. 6.3 knots. Well, Pete went down below to have a, a nap. Uh, Alma and I are feeling like the free seasick, but when I stand up here, you know, I feel a lot better. Uh, had some salt, just a swig of green tea, but otherwise, you know, things are going real smooth. Uh, no voltage issues, which maybe the lower RPM is helping that. We are just about parallel to Tillamook. Uh, we are rounding the bend. Here, I don't know if you can see this, but... Anyways, uh, so probably over somewhere there is Tillamook. <laughs> Certainly doesn't look like an easy landfall, but we're going to look to raise the sail soon here. All right, how are you feeling? Great. <laughs> Out on the open sea. Dude, we are making the turn. Yeah, we are now headed, uh, what would this be, like west of, uh, just west of south. 172 degrees. So, uh, yeah, we are almost parallel with Tillamook. And I feel like 
really good chance that we could get to at least Newport, which is one of our first uh, or best places to stop. So, looking well, good. We're not going to stop. Never I stop. Mean, nice. Probably not. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look what we did. I mean, yeah, the motor is still very much on. But we did a thing! We got sails up! We sailed 3.9 knots with uh, what we're idling forward. Yeah. So we're, we, we could probably do like a little over three knots <laughs> in, in 10 knots of wind. Um, That's something. So it's something, like we would get somewhere. Probably get to China. And now I'm going to try to get my first uh, predict wind weather offshore here. So, all right, onward. We've we've seen some just some real small birds, and then there are these lines that you can kind of see up here. Of, I'm not sure, upwelling or some kind of white. We saw some some debris on them. But yeah, still calm, no swell, or, or you know, very smooth swell. What do they call it swell? Spirits are still high. I, I got over my seasickness, or it wasn't seasickness, it was like pre-seasickness. Try some salt, Alma. Alma. Try some salt. Yeah. I need a bunch of salty nuts. <laughs> yes, that, that could help. We were literally uh, had this puppy dead ahead. Is that a log? Uh, it, looks it sure looks like it. Uh, it like a oh no, it is a foam thingamajig. That's the prop spinning, I believe. All right. Do you hear that? Nope. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Hear Peter? what? What? <laughs> I hear a lot of beautiful sounds. We have officially shut off the engine. We did lose about half a knot, uh, 0.4 or something like that. But this is faster than we were going just motoring. It was faster than we were going uh, 20, 30 minutes ago. So aside from me almost busting off <laughs> the thing that holds the uh, uh, Reef 2 uh, line bundle, uh, went great, and so here we are. We are uh, probably 25, 30 knots from what was it? Newport. Uh, so well past longitude of Tillamook. Oh yeah. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, because that engine Fucking hell. was like brutal down there. Yeah. How were you guys with the engine? Oh, I had to wear, I'm wearing earplugs anytime I'm going below deck. Dude, my earmuffs didn't, honestly, it felt louder. <laughs> I did the earmuffs and I was just like, whoa. And then I took it off. I, I don't know if it just balanced the sound when you take it off. It's just like too much for your brain to handle, but it's just loud. Yeah, I put my earplugs in and was like, can I put the engine on? <laughs> All right. Of course I took him out. Okay. Long may this continue. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. This is what I came here to do. Yeah. <laughs> and that was what I conned you in here to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sunset. How are you feeling? So good. I'm feeling good too. In another six hours. Yeah. We're going into the first night. We can still see land, but we've been making uh, good good speed. But 6.1 knots. It's kind of varied, but uh, we are moving more into a tailwind, and we'll see how it goes. All right. So I have. Never done night sailing, I guess, until now. Oh wow. Alma just uh, ended watch. Down there we're going 
I think we're going like seven over seven knots over ground, but probably six and a half through the water. So we're making really good speed. If we can keep this up through the night, then you know I think we're gonna get there right quick. Uh, we probably won't, but you know we'll see. Um, we saw a dolphin, probably. I mean, maybe a shark, but it was a really big dorsal fin, it looked like, maybe 30, 30 minutes ago or so. So that was pretty cool. So here it goes, bring on the night. I guess uh, you can't see this, but there's tons of bioluminescence behind the boat. And they look like they're probably jellyfish. It's hard to tell, but there's probably like 30 to 50 of them visible in the 15 feet behind the boat at any time. It's really amazing. Hey, do you want me to leave the light on down here? Um, I think we can try it with it off, that's fine. I'm realizing that I really need some better setup for night navigation. Uh, I just turned off the screen, which would normally be, you know, above that little screen right there. Show you what it looks like. You have a, you know, very dark night, and then you turn on this thing, and it's like, bam! Goodbye night vision. So I guess now you can see, though, this screen. So we have, yeah, sorry about the shaky cam. You have shoaling, um, you go from a thousand feet to, we're at currently maybe 700. But then we get right down to like, we're probably gonna cross at a, around 250 feet. And that's actually pretty scary, um, given the uh, amount of um, quasi breaking following seas that we've had, which, you know, that's it's been good, I think, for our, our speed. Um, what are we at? We're at seven, six and a half to seven and a half speed over ground, so that's been great. Uh, but, you know, it's a little unnerving uh, having the autopilot working that hard and Everything, but we certainly seem to be making good time, so that's good. So I guess we'll see. To me, it's something like I got my harness on. I, I'm not a huge fan of the harness at all times, but like alone in the cockpit with shoaling, <laughs> um, that's that's when you need to do that. So, okay. All right. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I was able to see some as well. I feel like pretty, I'm out, dude, I'm so, I'm like pretty out of it, man. I mean, two-ish hours maybe, but like no nightmares, you know, it was, it was, it was very relaxing and nice. I just didn't see that. Um, but the aft cabin was, was great. Um, I mean, the autopilot is really loud. Oh, we we could be doing a broad reach. Oh, you have the, you have some jib out. Yeah, I, I I let it out just a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Oh, this is made it through the night, man. Made it through the first night. I am so glad the nights are like what six hours long, because <laughs> that's, that's that's not the best. <laughs> like. It, it's kind of rough. Yeah. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> it's actually the the my watch is actually really nice. You got like a solid hour of this night. Yeah. You get to see the sunrise. All right. Time to do some cooking downstairs. You, 
probably can't hear me because it's so loud down here. But this thing works just incredibly well. I don't know, maybe you can hear me a little better here, but um, yeah, so I probably got like two, maybe three hours of, uh, less than three hours of sleep because I know I, I woke up before the watches changed, but I got some sleep. Um, I think if we're under sail, so the autopilot's really loud in the aft cabin, so there's that, but you know, I think the fact that we were under sail, that was good. I think if we're under sail in a more steady point of sail, then, you know, it would have been easier to get some sleep. But anyway, so it's the next day. It's a very calm day until later in the day, like maybe 5 p.m. or so. So we're just going to be motoring uh, for most of the day today, or at least during the daylight hours. Here somewhere? Oh, I see. Moby brought us to a whale. <laughs> All right, 3:35, probably about 3:25 p.m. Under sail. Again. Again, just enough engine through the day to get us angry. <laughs> Alright, uh, day two after leaving Astoria, so we left Astoria yesterday, and I uh, woke up, I did have a little bit of queasiness when I woke up, but I started with some electrolyte and salt water, and it immediately went away, and here I, I, I did my watch a little while ago, uh, actually just finished it, it's a beautiful conditions. I don't know if you could see out here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm cooking down here. I feel great. I'm really hungry, so I feel like I've adjusted to the sea life. So I still didn't expect to even get that queasy, but um, it's really good when you feel better. And I have a really late watch tonight, the uh, midnight to 3 a.m. So I'm gonna just pack in some uh, calories and food. All right, time for some spaghetti with some organ meat sausage. <laughs> All right, there it is, my first actual real cooked meal. I was looking out here. Uh, it's looking pretty tame. <laughs> it's, it's looking pretty, it's looking pretty light. It's gorgeous, but I'd uh, love to be moving a little bit faster, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Get much better than this. Yeah. Eating on the sunset. Yeah. Oh, some some somebody down below making you food? <laughs> yeah, my personal chef Alma is yeah. uh, cooking up the grub for tonight. It's wonderful to have someone who waits on me hand and foot, you know. <laughs> He's such a good sport about it. Ain't that true? <laughs> In case I fall in. He says he wants his food quickly. Get a move on it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna join you running here. I was, I was I'm, told. I'm trying. I was, I was promised five star service. I'm trying to overcook it. <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> I thought he said al dente. Yeah, get that aroma in here. The boat will always smell like whatever it is you just cooked. <laughs> oh.
Hey guys, thank you for joining us, and next week we will have some serious problems to contend with. So please subscribe to follow if you aren't already, and I will see you there.